Hi everyone, Oleg Koch here with your weekly rate update. And this week, definitely action-packed with the Fed meeting on Wednesday. And even though they raised rates by 0.25%, the biggest news and, and data that came out of it, which is rate friendly, is the fact that they said that they are most likely going to pause for a while, and unless, of course, something crazy happens. But for the most part, the end of the Fed rate hikes might be here, and per what they said, pretty much they don't anticipate any for quite some time, which is really, really positive. In fact, there are some analysts predicting that the next time the Fed's going to make any moves to the uh, federal funds rate, they're actually going to cut them. Now, when is that going to happen? Who knows? Is it going to be next year before the election? Possibly and most likely. Now, with that said, in addition to that, we had the jobs report that came out today. So, after the Fed meeting, rates immediately got better. They came down. Um, they were, you know, as of yesterday, at, our, at the three-week lows. We saw them in the low sixes, high fives, if you were super well qualified. With that said, the jobs report came out today, and it came out better than expected. Not much better, but enough to where with the positive jobs reports, we did see a little uptick in rates today. Um, nothing major, nothing to be concerned about, but nonetheless, it wasn't rate friendly. Now, next week, what's, what's the big thing about next week that everybody's talking about? There's more inflation reports that are coming out. The CPI inflation report is coming out, and it's the May 10th report that everybody's waiting for because it's supposed to come out way better than expected. It's supposed to come out and show that inflation is getting way better, which should in turn really push rates in, you know, in a lower level and which is going to have kind of the rate trend change, the overall big picture rate trend change uh, to where rates should start coming down and hopefully we'll start, see, we'll start seeing new lows on a monthly basis uh, after that. Again, that's what should happen. The thing about interest rates though is no one truly knows and that report, even though it might come out great next week, because everybody's anticipating it for it to be great, it might not be as great and we might see some market volatility. So with that said, until it has happened, it hasn't happened. What does it mean for buyers and sellers? The one thing that I just want to want to mention, um, and I know I've said this many, many, many times, but if rates do come down faster than we think they're going to come down, it's definitely going to create more bidding wars. Most likely buyers are going to lose their ability to negotiate and so on. So with that said, definitely going to be interesting to see what happens over the next few months. But nonetheless, there you have it. That is your weekly rate update. Overall, positive week for rates. And we hope next week will be another positive week. If there's anything we can do for you, let us know. Otherwise, I hope you have a great rest of your week.